hello everyone we will go for our non new topic or we'll start with our new topic our new topic is what is the significance of me keyword in a back object oriented programming we'll start with the practical part and then we will read the definition because it will be automatically clear once we will do the practical i will go to sc38 transaction code i will give some name to the program i'll click on create button okay suppose i will give the title to understand the significance of me keyword i will choose the type as executable program and i will save it as a local object now suppose i will create a class suppose class class 1 definition end class i will write public section and suppose i will take one attribute in the class suppose i am saying data lv underscore value type n suppose i am saying default value is 7 suppose i am taking one methods i am taking one instance method suppose name of the method is display so i declared one class i took one attribute in the class so i'll say it's a variable of the class lv underscore value and the value of that variable is 7 i am writing the implementation of class 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 1 implementation end class now i will write method display end method suppose while writing the logic in the method i am declaring one more variable suppose name of the variable is same lv underscore value type n value five this is your class variable this is your class attribute but this particular attribute or this particular variable is dedicated to this method only this method only now suppose i am writing write lv underscore value i am checking the syntax and i am activating the program so what we did in the class we took one attribute in the class so i'll say one variable in the class name of the variable is lv underscore value while doing the implementation and in that particular method i took one variable which is dedicated to this method only this particular variable is dedicated to this method but it has the same name which we gave while declaring a variable for the class itself now i will call this method and we will understand start of selection 
is as it is the instance method so we have to call this method with the help of object hello underscore object type ref to my class name i will create the object now i will call the method with the help of object I'll just wait. I think system is taking time. Now, with the help of object, I will call the method display. I'm checking the syntax and I'm activating the program. Now, now what will be the output and that will give the answer of our topic. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint here. I will run this program. I'll go to desktop three. Now, I will do F6, the object is created. Now I'm going inside the method and I'm writing this particular variable. And if I'm executing this, the output is coming as five. See, we have same variable name. One variable or one attribute is at the class level. It is at the class level, but this attribute is at the method level, is at the method level, but we have the same name. Now the question comes, if I want to display the value seven, how I will display, how I will display. Now, this is the answer of the topic. I will write simply write me and I will write the variable name. So if you have the same attribute name at the class level or at the end at the method level. So if you want to print the value which is at the method level, you can simply write that variable. But if you want to print the value which is at the class level you have to write to me and why we are writing because both names are same to make a distinguishing between them we are using me keyword i will write slash so that it will make more sense so that we can see the output in different different lines now I will show you in debugging mode. Now I'll go to desktop three. Sorry, I will just put the breakpoint again so that I can show you in debugging mode more clearly. I'll go to the program again. Now I will put a breakpoint on the create object statement as well as in the method logic. I'll go to desktop three. Object is initial as of now. Now the object is created. If the object is created, can I call the method? I can call the method and you can see LV underscore value is five, but me hyphen LV underscore value is seven. Now, whenever I will go for execute, you can see output is five and seven. So this is the significance of me keyword. I will write the theory, read the theory. It will make more sense to all of you. A method can have a variable defined with the same name 
as one of the attribute of the class a method can have a variable name a method can have a variable which has the same name as that of class attribute in that case to clearly identify the class level attribute to clearly identify the class level attribute we are using me so this is the significance of me keeper so whenever you have the same name at the class level and if you are going for declaring some variable inside a method of the class so in that case to clearly identify the class level attribute the keyword me is used that's it in this video we'll continue the next topic in the upcoming videos thank you